come up on this old stump, look like it's been uh, whittled down. People along the river here plowed together in firewood. Or maybe just clearing up the beach a little bit. Did get this target right here. Focus down at it. A 15. Jacket wants to get in the way again. Potential for another fishing weight, maybe. I think I got it that time. No? Quite it down quite a bit on that dig. Pretty sure I got that time. Chase it down. Pull tab. All right, carry it out. Here's my hole. On to the next. Got this little target right here. It's deep. 18 to 20. Down in the black sand now. A lot of good stuff comes out of that black sand. Got to that time, Lee. Ah, 24. And it's going to be a coin, I believe. A real crusty one, too. Oh, it's a piece of jewelry. See the little bling blings? Button, maybe? That black sand holds some good treasures. Pin it? Yeah, okay. I see a little pin it up here at the top. Sit right there at the top. Little locket of some type. Cool. Maybe I can knock some of that crust off the back later. Alright. Let's fill in the hole. Told you about that black sand now. Hopefully we get some more targets like that. Stand by. Well, I just got through covering, covering up that hole where I found that little locket. And I got a target right there. But I was moving over here and heard another. And already dug it up. And I see a little green tint right here. I think I got a nickel. Yes. So I think I'll dig in this little spot in a little while. We still got to get over here to this other 19. And see what that was. Still there. Oh, I see some black dirt. In the clump. I 
Now that's a strange pitch going on it. It's getting a high, even a higher. Right in that little clump up there, I'm gonna move it in here so I can miss it. <laughs> Don't know if the other piece of that little locket or what. It's right there. It's a little circular object. And it's a penny. Real crusty penny. Alright, I'm going to have to stay in this area a little while. So, let me get my mess cleaned up. That's uh, three targets right here within uh, three or four foot of each other, so I'm going to have to uh, look a little harder. Okay, let's swing a little bit. No, you can't hear much on the headphones but maybe hear a little peep every once in a while. Alright we'll have to turn you back on if we hear anything else. Okay got another high squeaker right here. Real high on the numbers. Hope it's going to be a target, not a can. Did I miss it? I'm going to go around this, this angle. Right in there. Got it, whatever it was. Now I see string. Oh, I see a quarter. Do like those quarters. It's a clad. Can't go out and dig 50, 60 quarters every day, can you? Oh, it's going to be more. Maybe it was buried, I didn't know it. Take a little off the top and see. It's going to be another quarter. Hitting all the way up 30 on the detector. Alright, got it that time. Or maybe not. Yep. Pocket spill. You want to call two quarters a pocket spill. All right, check your hole again. All right, got to clean up this mess. Yeah, bye. Well, again, I hit another target. And it was a real squeaker. 
and it didn't sound right. It was jumping around two or three different numbers, but it did give high sound, so I thought I better dig it up. I didn't turn the camera on because I really didn't think it was going to be anything. But uh, again, I got down to the uh, the black sand. Don't know what it is, but it's ringing. It's giving me a 25 number, so good possibility it's a dime. Well, there it is, whatever it is. Oh, there is a coin. It's a little coin, too. Well, it's a dime. It looks smaller from down, down there on the sand up to here. But it's a dime. Roosevelt. And it was deep, too. Clamped the mess. This tells you there's there's more targets down that black sand where all this uh, light colored sand has been blown up from the storm. If we could get a storm to come in and take some of it away, we'd be better off. Alright, on to the next. Okay, just wanted to stop a minute and point something out. See the uh, hose that I've been digging? Uh, yeah, I'm covering up, but since I scatter the sand, I, it's not a real neat cover up. But they are covered up. Uh, I want to point out how almost the coins are in the same place up at the uh, up the high tide line, the old tide line. We call it a coin line. So I'm going to go back to the other side and check the area about the same distance away from the water and see if, uh, see if there's anything on the other side. Alright, stay tuned. Well, it never fails whenever you hit a target. Don't always turn the camera on. Got a 13. Well, it didn't sound like a 13 when I was digging it, but I just threw a quarter out. No, quarter, nickel. Just threw a nickel out. So there's a little bit of change here. We'll keep on a little while. Covered up. Not the neatest, but cover the hose up, check it. Maybe I'll leave you on for a minute, see if I can find something else. Don't usually work that way, folks. See these numbers out here, they're bouncing quite a bit. But there is uh, coins down this line right here. 17, 18. Penny. Eating up zinc, Penny. Already starting to deteriorate. Almost sound like there's another target down there, but I think it's just a chattering. No, it is another penny. Another coin, I don't know. Reading off a low though. Always check your hose. Hitting eight. Hitting the black sand now. Maybe this is get it up <sighs> a 
got it that time. What is that right there? We don't see anything. Look like it's gonna be a piece of can slaw. Yep, probably broke it down there. Broke a piece of it off. See the starfish right there? I'm gonna take a picture of it and show it to you a little bit closer, but right next to it, I'm getting a, uh, a pretty good nickel sound. Could be a nickel anyway. Got it. Don't know what to think. Don't think it's going to be a nickel. Is that it? Another split shot. Alright, my thoughts was maybe I just give that starfish a burial but uh, some of the other sea life out here may want it more than I do so I'm just going to leave it sitting right there cover up my hole see that's a couple of them flying around looking for it right now alright out of here Okay, come across this target here. Sounds awful lot like a dime. But first, first scoop. Could be a quarter though, I guess. No, I think it's just going to be a dime. See a little shot of green. Flicker by. Look at a crusty old dime too. Oh, that thing came off. Look at that a little closer and make sure that's not a... Now you can see the edge there. I can get a better shot at it. It's just an eating up dime. See where the copper runs through the middle? But when it came clean like that, I thought, man, that could be that could be silver, but a real worn out dime with the copper getting eat out of it. Gave me a little bit of hope anyway. All right, there's still cords out here, so we're gonna stay for a while. Stand by. I'm gonna stop a minute and show you something. I don't know if you can tell it on the on the uh, video or not, but there's kind of a low dip right there around the mangrove, and uh, I'm gonna hit that area pretty hard. That could have some potential there. I'm not gonna go any further than that. I'm gonna turn around and come back the other way, but. Uh, Oh, maybe I'll leave the camera on for a minute until I get there.
your little beach time out here in the river. Well, my uh, windbreaker, because the wind was blowing pretty, pretty hard on the other side, I parked over there on the beach. Okay, get this signal right here. 15, 16. Got the camera on, so I thought I'd do. See if I can dig it up. Still there. Got it. Right in that dark colored sand. That's gonna be a bottle cap. See a lot of rust attached to it. Yep, bottle cap. Now I'm about to go down there and rinse this out. It's got a lot of black in it. I'll get all of my fingers, all of my clothes. Corona. Hadn't got down to that cut yet. Little bowl. Battery's probably getting pretty low. So uh, it shuts out. I'll show you on the roundup. If not, just stay tuned and see if I can find anything. This little spot right here. Got another target right here. Not a real good sounding target, but hollow, hollow, hollow. Can't decide what what side it's on. Not gonna be good. All right, one more scoop, and I'm gonna close this one up. Just too big, and all right, we'll try a pinpoint. One more scoop. See, it's just all over the place. Deep that is, it's going to be a can, most likely. All right, let's work this cut a little bit before it gets better run out. Couldn't be wrong though. I think most of the coins is down here from the uh, fishermen come down here and set up for the day and pocket full of change and they sit on their bucket and get up on the check the line sit back down coins go rolling out of their pocket. Who knows? So, so far, this little low spot's not going to produce anything. So, I'm going to cut you off for now.
You know, that happens to me quite a bit. Every time I turn the camera off, I take two steps and hit another target. That sounded like a real good quarter to me. Wasn't very deep either. And there it is. All right, I'm going to see if I can do that again. I'll cover this up, turn my camera off, and see how long it takes before I hit another target. Never failed, does it? Hit this target in this hole right here. It looks like a chain of some type. Oh, it's a watch. Is it working? Nope. It's all crested and froze up, though. Oh, that'll break it. No. You need to be careful with it, though. I won't fool with it no more. A lot of them mess it up. It's all crested pressed it together. I might have broke a piece of it off right there. Made the latch. But uh, I'll get it back home and we'll clean it up. Take a couple pictures of it. Show it a little bit better on the roundup. Alright. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Maybe we'll come across a couple more targets. Alright. 11, 12 right here, 13 maybe. This side. I think I got it that time. Pool tail. Boy, it just disintegrated as soon as I picked it up. Look at there. An old beaver tail. That means it's been down here for a while. That's all that's left of it. As soon as I picked it up, it just broke apart. Well, you see that hole right there? I swear I didn't think it was going to be anything at all, but I dug it up and I kicked it out. That's going to be a ring. I'm sure it's going to be a junk ring, but uh, that's a ring. Clean it up a little bit. Well, could it be silver? Got a nice little stone in it. I'm going to put the detector down and uh, wash it off. And let's look at it again, washed off. It is a ring. Could have been gold plated once. Look like it's got a little stone here, a little stone there, and that's a blue. That's a blue stone. It's got a little shiny showing right there, but I really don't think that's going to be a. We just have to wait and get it back and uh, clean it up. It's got a lot of black to it, so it could be a silver band. Wow, that's a surprise. Now it's going to make me stay here even longer. All right, let's stand by some more.
Well, here's something you don't usually dig up out on the beach. A square. Carpenter square. I don't think I've got one here. aluminum so it not rusted anything yeah I'm gonna carry that home <laughs> something else all right maybe something else Let's see what this low target is It's deep, I'm not going to dig it because it's going to be a can, but if I take three or four shovels. Got it. Going to be a dime. Should be riding that little Pump right there. There's a dime. Stand by. You know, this area has really surprised me quite a bit. I got another hike. High pitch targets, should be a quarter. You might be able to hear it. And it is, it's a quarter. Cover it up. What else are we going to find? Well, I did it again. Hit another target. Two scoops. Kicked it out. Looked like it's going to be another nickel. No. No Cavalier. Little bitty one. Wonder what that came off of. Sounded good. Still a good target. Stand by. Okay, a little roundup from today's hunt. Uh, I did find a few coins, a couple pieces of jewelry. I wanted to show them to you. End up with five quarters, three nickels, four dimes, and a bunch of uh, crusted uh, pennies, uh, a few fishing weights. The three pieces of jewelry that I found was looked like maybe a little pendant, earring maybe, a uh, lady's pocket watch, and did find a ring. Don't know if it's precious metal or not, but it could be silver, so I'm going to put it into electrolysis and see how it comes out. And if it comes out to be silver, I'll take an extra picture of it and show you on the, the end of the video. Alright, blue stone, got some little square diamonds, little round, round diamonds on each side. I don't really think it's going to be silver, but we're going to give it a shot and see. Alright, I'll put a picture of it on the end of the clip. And that's it. We're out of here.